One of the questions often asked by people who transition over from WhatsApp to Telegram is, why can't I just send anything on Telegram to people on WhatsApp because I can send it from WhatsApp to Telegram? The main uh, reason for that is that the platforms are totally different. WhatsApp was designed as a SMS replacement tool. So everything that was sent to people's devices with WhatsApp was compressed and put onto the device. So if somebody sends you messages, photos or anything, you can go on your device and you'll see the photo and the video and everything resides on your device. It, it doesn't reside anywhere else. That's why everything has to be compressed and you can't send big size files, uh, videos or anything on WhatsApp. Uh, that is not the case with Telegram. Telegram is a much more modern platform where you are able to send files of massive size like a two gigabyte file you are able to uh, save files you can store files in the cloud unlimited space you can do video calls with people up to a thousand plus people there's very little limitations that happen on the telegram platform but because of these advances in technology and also feature sets you find that a lot of files don't reside on your device because then your device is going to run out of memory. So it lies up in the cloud and when you need it, it pulls it down from the cloud. So that's how it operates, the basics of it. You can't just take a file that you have on Telegram and send it to somebody because it might not be on your device. It might be in the cloud, but it's just giving you a reference on your device. So in some cases you need to tell Telegram to download it on your device and then send it. And when you send it also, there's a limitation on the size of file that, uh, for example, WhatsApp can receive. So there's going to be that limitation. You can't just send a 500 meg file through to WhatsApp. So considering all of these things, that's why the, the movement of data from Telegram to other platforms is not as easy as from the others to Telegram. Because Telegram can accept anything, any size, any file type whereas other platforms can't. That's the reality and I'm going to show you the three basic categories of how files are sent from Telegram and in this case we'll just talk about WhatsApp. Uh, how we send, if we can put it into three categories, how we would send photos. So for example we want to send a photo like this, how we send the photo, the process we go through that. If we want to send a link like this, how uh, we'll send it. And the other thing is all the other stuff I put into a basket could be a PDF. We'll call it documents. It could be a PDF. It could be a any file type. It could be media, which is video, audio. All of those are sent in a different way uh, because we've got to again understand that if we're wanting to send a video, is that video on our device on Telegram or is it still in the cloud? So we We've got to make those kind of uh, judgment calls. Like I've got a video on Telegram here that is in the cloud. It's like 500 megs. So if I want to send it to somebody on WhatsApp, I'll first have to download it from the cloud. And I'd prefer it that way than for it to be on my device and taking up my space unnecessarily. Um, so if we look at it in those three pockets, and I want you to think of it in that way. Think of it. It's either a photo you're sending or a link you're sending or if everything else falls into the third category. So let me show you how we do that. Start off with a link. We are not going to use the, the usual forward button and all that because that's going to become confusing. So if I tap next to this link image, it's a YouTube link, you've got things like copy, copy link and forward. Those are specific functions. Forward would be to forward to anybody on Telegram. But that's, that's where it ends. It can do anything it can send to people on Telegram, but we're talking about sending it to WhatsApp now. When you copy a link, it's not copying the YouTube link there. It's copying the Telegram link where the YouTube thing resides. That's why I'm avoiding that. If you just say copy, it's checking for any text in there and it's going to copy that text. So for practical purposes, how do we send a link from Telegram to WhatsApp? You long press on the actual URL, the link there. If you long press on it, it's going to pop up with a dialog at the bottom. And there we're going to select copy. What it's doing is copying that link into memory, into the clipboard. And now we can go to WhatsApp or any other program, go there 
and long press in the messaging area and then you probably will have a like if I long press here now just to show you if I long press it's going to come up with a paste button and then you press paste and it will paste that URL that YouTube link and then you can send it off in that way okay so link long press copy it into the memory go to wherever you want to long press paste and then send okay how do we work with the photo now if somebody you want to share a photo like this with somebody okay how you know it's a photo and not just considered as that third category of documents if it was a document in any way you'd see three dots like if you look at this one here you see there's three dots that means it's a document if we look at this here it is a photo there's no dots over there and we're seeing the picture itself so how do we send this? You will tap on the photo and it will take up your whole screen. So if I tap on this photo, it's going to open and you're going to look at the bottom here. You'll see there's a share button. And then you go through the normal process of clicking that, selecting where you want to send it, whether you want to send it to WhatsApp or Telegram or to your Google Drive or anything. You can flip through the different options that you have on your phone, which will be unique to you. But then you select it, select who you're sending it to and click send. And that's it. Okay, so photo, tap on it, maximize, click the share button. And now we come to the others, all the others, PDF, EXE file, any file, video, audio, everything. Now, there's just one thing to consider. In this case here, you, you're seeing a little thumbnail of this image here. But if this image was still in the cloud and you had the three dots and this is still in the cloud, you'd see an arrow showing a download. So there'll be an arrow here that you click the arrow, then it downloads it from the cloud. Yeah, that's with this particular document. If that arrow is not there yet, then when you click these three buttons, you won't have the share option on it. You can do all the other stuff, but there won't be a share option. And I'll try and find one where we can see that. So we want to now share this document or this whole category of documents whether it's a you know any type of file i've explained already we will click on the three dots and we will see a share button over there it also gives you option to download it onto your device but if you share it here it will take it and it will send it to whatsapp so whenever you see a share button it gives you the same features to do everything okay Let's go back on that one. I'm going to try and find a, another document, which is a media file, but it's still up in the cloud. So if I scroll, I'm just going to go. Okay. Oh, here we have it. So here is a video. In a case like this, you can see there's an arrow saying that it hasn't been downloaded from the cloud and it's telling you what the size is. If we go there now, we see three dots, which means it's a document. Okay, so this falls into that third category of documents. But if I click now, you're not going to see the share button here because it's still up in the cloud. I first have to download it. If this is fully downloaded, then we will see it now. This is maybe a bit of a biggish size file. Hopefully it downloads quickly while I'm still busy chatting here. So in this case, if I wanted to share this, I would have had to first download this file. Now this is downloading the 149 meg file from the cloud and bringing it into what we refer to as a cache. It's, it's a holding place, a temporary holding place, so that it brings it onto your device, but in a holding place. If you physically want to put it into your gallery, you can click the three buttons and say, you know, save it into my gallery. But it's pretty much just pulling it down so that you can now share it with somebody else. Now, uh, let's see here, uh, maybe speed this up a bit. Um, or oh, maybe while it's downloading. The other thing is, this is a video, but this is text that's sent along with it. So if you click next to it, it gives you the option to copy here. Yeah. When you copy, you're copying the text. You're not copying the video itself. Okay. If you copy a link, as I said, this is just the link to this particular Telegram channel for this file. Okay. So there's the video. Now, if I go here, look what happens. There we have the share button appearing and there we have save to gallery if I want to physically save a hard copy for me. Um, I can save it to my download folder or to the gallery. Okay, so now in this case now we'll share. But just look at this here. If I go here 
and I go share and I go to WhatsApp I'm to show you where the limitation lies I'm going to share here if I'm sharing it over there this is what's going to happen in WhatsApp you see it's coming out here and that's my old video and it's saying sorry but it can only send 17 megs so now I have to decide what part of the 17 megs I want to send so that's where your your limitation is going to come it has downloaded it from the cloud and you are now allowed to share it with WhatsApp but when you put it into the WhatsApp ecosystem it's going to only take 17 megs of that 140 so it doesn't make sense that's why often what I do is I take these videos I load them into something like um, YouTube I get the link and I share it with somebody on, on WhatsApp because some of the people that I work and clients who work are still on WhatsApp I'll then upload it YouTube get the link share it with them then they can deal with YouTube straight but sending a physical file well this is not only related to videos if an audio file is much bigger than 17 or 8 megs or a image that you are sending is much bigger uh, WhatsApp will want to compress it all okay so you have this limitation in here now okay so here in uh, what well, telegram you don't have a problem that's a 149 meg file that if you tap that Kenya is a land of contrasts with a population of 34 million people most of the people live in the rural area so you can play that full file in here with absolutely no problem okay so that's why I recommend people come and just get used to this environment eventually every there will be more people inside of um, telegram and we wouldn't need to send it so much out there and compress files and cut files for people um, I think people are just familiar with whatsapp and they don't want to make the transition but I mean there's many millions on telegram already and it's just keep on growing so I'd suggest that uh, you know as much as possible get give it the folk to be on telegram it's easier to share stuff okay so hopefully that covers it the scenario is when you're sending a link long press copy and then go and paste it when you're sending a photo tap the photo open it big then do the share button if you're sending any other media you tap the three buttons if there's no share button there then you've got to first download it onto your device and then the share button appears and then you share it as per usual. Great stuff. So have a fantastic day and be blessed. Shalom.